So here we are in Geneva at the motor show by ourselves. Everyone else packed up. We said that we cannot do. We built this amazing stand and we have these amazing cars and just to pack up and go home, no way. We follow the motto of the Ghost Squadron, the show must go on. Of course, not the Geneva Motor Show, that shut down this year. Let's hope it comes up next year again, we will see. But we want to take the opportunity here by ourselves to at least make you behind the screens of all the computers around the world to see what we're up to. And so we at least can get the chance to present what we prepared a whole year since last year before we got here. We have the Regera. We say 2020 is the year of the Regera. We are at the production rate of one car per week, basically churning them out. I would say for a small factory, one car a week is not so bad. And by the end of the year, we will have built all 80 Regeras. As some of you know, last year, we broke a world record with the Regera. 31.49 seconds to 400 kilometers per hour and back to zero again. Unheard of. <clears throat> What's even more amazing, really, is that that was done on a very poor track with very low grip. So we're quite certain if we redo that in slightly better conditions, we can go under the magic 30 second numbers with a Regera. So during the year of the Regera, we will have another go and see what it can do, also around some racetracks and so on. This car is really the pinnacle of all our efforts until now. But not only do we have the Regera, everything we learned and put into this car we revamp and redo for our parallel models that I will show you tonight. And of course, the brother of the Regera, uh, my father, the Yesco. Last year, we showcased the track version. This year, we have promised to showcase the high-speed version. So please, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy. In 1994, I started the Koenigsegg company. I had a dream. I wanted to build the best sports car. Little did I know how hard it would be, but I had a dream. And I was willing to sacrifice everything to make it happen. It did happen and every effort along the way was worth it. Even a devastating fire tried to stop us. It failed. You never saw them. You only heard them. The ghosts. ended up in the Ghost Squadron hangars. Now, a low-flying fighter, just a few centimeters off the ground. The Yesco Absolute. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jesco Absolute. So what is this machine we have in front of us? <clears throat> Many of you can recognize it from last year's track-focused Jesco. But this year, it's the high-speed-focused Jesco. This is the fastest Koenigsegg we will ever endeavor to make. We spent thousands of hours in CFD calculations and streamlining this car from a design perspective, from a cooling perspective, from a high-speed stability perspective. We ended up with a drag of only 0 
it is the lowest drag number for any of these types of cars. With 1,600 horsepower, with 1,500 newton meters of torque, you need a lot of cooling and you need wide tires to put the power to the ground and you still do need downforce to make it stable. And to end up with that kind of low drag number is truly amazing. And if you do your math and if you check our RPM limits, uh, the power graph and the drag of this car, you will see the potential of the top speed of this car. It is truly amazing. Like last time when we took the world speed record for a series produced homologated car on a public road in two directions, we had to wait years to find the right venue and to be able to close off a road. And it was also still dangerous. There can be winds, there can be animals, there can be something rolling out on the road. It's just dangerous uh, activity to do this kind of high speed testing. But if you do it in a controlled manner, you can minimize the risks. And it would be a shame not to show what this car is capable of. When it will happen, we don't know yet. Exactly how, we don't know yet. But we've built the car to be able to set new high-speed records. That's what the Yesco Absolute is about. The name also comes from the fact, of course, that this is the absolutely fastest Koenigsegg we will ever make. Very exciting. The customers can choose in the configurator that we're opening up today on all the pre-sold Koenigseggs if they want the track version or if they want the absolute high-speed version. We don't know how many of the 125 cars will be either or, so it'll be very interesting to see what our customers choose. But we're not done yet. We have something more for you at the Geneva Koenigsegg Motor Show 2020. Stay tuned. The egg, the perfect shape, strong, simple, unquestionable. All Koenigseggs have cockpits in the shape of the egg. For the first time, we complete the egg. So, the Koenigsegg Jamira. Jamira is actually a name my mother came up with for this car. It's Swedish for to give more. Ge mera. And then we pushed that together into a new word. So it became the Jamira. <clears throat> what does that mean? We believe this car really gives more. We have a full size mega car. It is a mid-engine car. It gives the impression of being a mid-engine car. But inside, you have an interior space never before seen in even a GT sports car. You can be four two meters persons fitting in this car, front and rear. You don't even need to move the front seats backwards or forwards to get in and out of the rear seat. The Koenigsegg door system really comes into play here because you can park this car right next to another one, this close, and open the door fully. Uh, it's really practical. We have some sensors up here, so if you're in a 
low garage. It will stop a little bit early. Uh, but this is designed to fit in 95% of all garages in the world. But if you have a really low one, it will stop at an earlier angle. <coughs> you also have sensors stopping the door going out if there would be an obstacle here. Uh, but it is also cleared for high curbs, which is practical. So the technology behind this car is truly unheard of. The combustion engine is 600 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque from a three-cylinder engine. It is really a little monster of an engine. It is only two liters, but it has twin turbo and it has three valves. And it is designed to run on renewable fuels. It is capable of being CO2 neutral, the engine and the car. So we really want to put an end to fossil fuel dependency on combustion engines. And the advantage of doing that is that compared to a pure electric car, this one is at least 30% lighter than it would otherwise be with that range and power if it was pure electric. So you get a more agile, <coughs> roomier car with better acceleration, better cornering, better braking, still CO2 neutral capable if you find the right fuel. It is flex fuel, so you can run on what, whatever you can find basically, but it is optimized and envisioned to run on renewable biofuels. And we really want to push that side of the automotive industry. Electric cars are great, but there are not enough uh, charging stations around and it's difficult to produce cells quickly enough for worldwide implementation. So this is a parallel track where you get a lighter car, more performance, CO2 neutral, basically emission free with all the particle filters and everything and especially if you run on alcohols it's extremely clean and if you fill it up on renewable alcohol and you can also plug it in and fill up uh, electricity you can be as CO2 neutral and as environmentally friendly as a pure electric car. It is also a sports car, of course, so you do get the sound uh, from the combustion engine. And when, when I say three-cylinder, of course, it sounds like a tiny little engine that won't sound so exciting. But if we open up the rear here, you will see that we have a titanium Akrapovic exosystem that is tuned to make this engine sound amazing. And as it is a two-liter engine, you have very big cylinders, even though they're only three. So you get this guttural grunt, which really suits the character of the car. And if you come closer again, you can see in the back here, we have a pretty big boot space with three full-size carry-ons. And if you go to the front, we have, if we open up the front, we have space for one more. So for each passenger, there is a full-size carry-on. And of course, if you're only three persons, you can also use one of the rear seats for a bigger bag or a golf bag or something like that. It is truly designed for long-distance travel. If you fuel it up fully and charge it up fully, you have a thousand kilometer range. That is quite exciting. Of course, you probably need to go to the toilet or something before you use up all of that energy. But we want to show you don't have to stop for any other reason than basically your own personal needs until you reach your destination. I haven't talked about power and performance yet. <coughs> How about 3,500 newton meters of torque? How about 1,700 horsepower? It is truly unheard of, the power level for a four-seater. Uh, not only is it powerful four-seater, it is four-wheel drive. Um, so the combustion engine, together with an electrical motor, drives the front axle. And the front axle has an hydraulic clutch for each output shaft. So you get torque vectoring on the front axle. In the rear, we have one 500 horsepower electrical motor with a thousand newton meters each for each rear wheel. So again, you get torque vectoring. So four-wheel drive, four-wheel torque vectoring, and four-wheel steering. So the chassis of this car is truly state-of-the-art. 
we can play around with so many variables to make it steady as a freight train on the autobahn and agile around the corners, around the track, because we can play with all of these parameters in a, in a, in a truly astounding way. It is a full carbon fiber construction, body, monocoque, chassis, everything. It has a, 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 a global rigidity of 40,000 newton meters per degree from axle to axle, which is really astonishing for a four-seater. The weight, the curb weight, well, our production aim is 1,880 uh, kilos or so. The aim is to stay under 1,900. Uh, with this kind of uh, fuel size, battery size, four-seater, full-size car, it is a really competitive weight. So, please enjoy. Thank you so much.